Hey guys, it's Alex with Tutorioso, and today I'm going to be showing you how to enable multitasking properly on iOS 4.2.1 on unsupported devices such as the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2G. I'm going to be using an iPhone 3G in, in this uh, example for this video, but the same tutorial applies if you're using an iPod Touch 2G. Now, uh, Apple decided to discontinue support for uh, devices such as the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2G, mainly because they want people to upgrade to the... Uh, supported soft uh, hardware at the time which was the iPhone 3GS which just came out uh, when multitasking was introduced in their keynote back in 2010 when iOS 4 was introduced. And believe it or not this is my first tutorial behind the camera compared to how I'm usually behind the computer. You've probably seen me in my action videos and tutorials so this is a second channel where we feature short films but if you haven't uh, please check that out I'll provide a link to that channel at the end of this video and uh, let's just get started with this tutorial. Okay, to start off this tutorial, if you want something as amazing for multitasking to work on an unsupported iOS device, you'll need a simple jailbreak performed on it. You can do this through Resno, uh, which I perform and uh, show you guys in my tutorial on how to jailbreak on 4.2.1, including the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2G, which will pop out as an annotation right here. So um, click on that and uh, you'll see the full step-by-step -step tutorial, which I show you guys. And uh, once that's done and over with, you can come back to this uh, video and we'll continue from there. One note, as you jailbreak uh, through Red Snow, you'll have two options on iOS 4.0 devices to uh, enable multitasking home through wallpapers. If you want the wallpapers, which is optional, you don't need that to enable multitasking, obviously. You can enable that, and works, and that works fine. You don't have to configure that to work. That always works. So enable that if you want home through wallpapers. Uh, I don't even think it... If you disable icon shadows on the icon, it won't make it any slower on your old devices. But for multitasking to work, if you enable that, that will pop up at the bottom but you'll see that it won't work and I'll provide that in an example right now. So when you jump with Red Snow, you check off home screen wallpapers, it'll seem like it works, like the app switcher pops up, but when you realize when you go into apps, it won't. I'll explain that now. I'll give you an example. So I'll open up voice memos. Right there. Let me just adjust the camera a little bit. Okay. Switch out of that, go into settings. Okay, so as you can see, I have two apps open in App Switcher, which I'll show you now settings and voice memos. So you can enable multitasking and, ho uh, and home screen wallpapers through a 4.2.1 Redstone jailbreak. But with a 4.2.1 official update, Apple has included a security firmware patch which prevents multitasking from properly functioning on older generation models. So say if you want to switch from an open app into another app through App Switcher, which, which I'll display now, your device will crash as you can see and the respring little toggle will pop up. Respring toggle pops up and your device will reboot and you'll have to restart which it when it enters safe mode to get it back to the original home screen. So that really sucks. So in Red Snow it's enabled the app switcher, but when you switch into another app, it doesn't work. So with a little tweaking, which I'll show you later in this video, you can get multitasking to work in other in under uh ten minutes if you have the correct app to tweak your iDevice into making it work. And I'll show you that now. Just to give you a little example at the beginning of this video, which probably a lot of you guys are experiencing with the respring crash, and I'll show you um, a tutorial on how to fix that. Right okay, now on older generation models to fix the respring crash, you're gonna want to open up Cydia on a jailbroken iDevice like you guys stated earlier. And you're going to want to install a source in order to get the package that I need you to install for free. I bet a lot of you guys already heard of the sinful iPhone repo. Uh, it's basically a repo which contains a lot of packages of uh, apps which you usually need to pay on Cydia, but you can get it for free. And they already pre-done that. So all you need to do is just download it, just like cracked apps on installers, and then you already have it uh, free of charge. So you're going to want to go into sources in Cydia, edit, add. I already have the source, so I'm going to cancel out. But you're going to want to get the sinful iPhone repo, which I'll provide uh, the link to uh, add the repo in uh, the description box below this video. It's sinfuliphonerepo.com, uh, which you enter in the add box, but I'll uh, add the link to that in the description. So once you have the repo, open up it, open up the source, and uh, here are the ones, here are all the apps which it um, contains and as you can see at the end it all says cracked because these are usually paid apps like I said but you just click on it download it and it uh, got gets it for you for free so you're gonna want to go to I there's a lot of cracked apps I and go to I file cracked a file manager and viewer like I said earlier in this video I already have it installed that's why it says modify but usually what it says install up here 
click install, install the app, restart your springboard, and you should have it on your uh, springboard. So let's continue. So once you added the simple iPhone repo in Cydia and installed the iFile app while restarting your springboard, it should pop up on your springboard. I have it in the utilities folder. Simply open that up to start configuring the file, which will make multitasking work properly on older generation models. let it load and uh, you're gonna wanna go to let me just wow you're gonna wanna go to this uh, navigation which I'll show you right now but I just want you guys to see that just to uh, get an overview of what we're gonna do right now if this is the first time you're using iFile just follow me there but if you already have iFile that's where you're gonna wanna navigate to but I'll show you that right now so when you open up iFile this is basically what it's going to pop up as. These are all the folders which contains all the data on your iDevice including all the configuration files to make everything work. So like I said if you delete one that you're not supposed to you must, you'll mess it up so be careful. Now you're going to want to navigate down to system, open up library, scroll down to core services, did I already pass it? It's hard viewing this throughout the camera. Springboard.app and then you're going to want to scroll all the way down to this file. I just showed on the paper before. Just trying to make sure. Scrolling slow so I don't miss it. There it goes. N82AP.plist. Open that up. Text viewer, select that to view the file. Edit and now you can edit the file. So what we're going to want to do right now is scroll down to these two lines, multitasking and open GLS, both ending with the word key and both starting with the word key. Let me zoom, I mean, I'm focusing on that. Alright. So, let me explain this. Like I said, with the 4.2.1 update, Apple updated the security patch to make multitasking incompatible with older generation devices. Now, what Apple did is update uh, multitasking so it's only compatible with OpenGLS 2.0 hardware which could be found of course on newer generation models but the thing is multitasking doesn't need OpenGLS 2.0 hardware the only reason why Apple updated it to make it only support that is because they want older users with the iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G to update their um, uh, devices for the newer ones just to get a little bit of profit which is stupid because Apple usually supports their older generation ones uh, devices but now they're deciding not to just so they could get some extra money in their pocket so to make it compatible because multitasking doesn't need that OpenGLS uh, 2.0 hardware we're gonna edit the where'd I go? well I lost my spot alright there we go uh, we're gonna wanna change the 1 to 2 and when we do that that means that we're updating to 2.0 hardware which will fool your device into thinking that you're running it so multitasking is fully compatible let me just find it right there. Open GLS, magnify that, magnify the one, backspace, open up numbers, change it to two, done, save. So now we're fooling your device into thinking that you're running on 2.0 hardware, sorry. Done. And considering how it's fooling it, that means that uh, multitasking will be fully compatible without the uh, respring crash. Respring that uh, to save the stuff that we just did in the raw iFile uh, directory because if we don't then it'll just go back to the crashing but if you respring it then it'll save and it'll work on the first uh, recharge to the springboard okay guys and now that our device is fully resprung all the changes that we made in iFile were uh, saved and now it tweaked our device into thinking that we're running on iPhone OpenGLS 2.0 hardware which is found in the iPhone 3GS which made multitasking and apps which are down here fully compatible with those devices now let's take a quick demo just to prove that uh, App Switcher now works in, in between apps and it won't close or respring your device in any way, shape, or form. And just to show you that multitasking, when enabled, takes full advantage of the iPhone 3G hardware without it slowing down or lagging a bit on my device. Well, that's all I found out. My device, it doesn't lag one bit. But of course, I don't have a lot of multitasking. I mean, I'm, I don't have a lot of winterboard themes enabled, so if for a lot of people that do, uh, try disabling those because just to let you know, Winterboard slows down your device a lot. Okay, so let's take a quick example of the app switcher, which is now fully compatible into thinking that your device is running on the newer hardware. Switching over the settings, no reboot, no, no respring, no nothing, no lag. Multitasking takes full advantage of the older hardware 
works fully compatible, and it does not exit your apps when you don't want it to. So this is a great, great uh, tweak into iOS 4, which a lot of people loved, but they were really disappointed when they realized that it wasn't supported on the iPhone 3G. But with this small tweak, which only takes a, a minute to configure an iFile, this is great and takes full advantage of the older hardware to make it fully compatible with the device. So thanks, guys, a lot for watching. I know how I talked a little fast and probably... Uh, a lot of you guys had to keep on skipping back to get full uh, attention to what I was saying. But if you guys have any comments or any questions regarding this video, you could always send me a private message or comment below in the comment box below. And, below. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll send you a private message uh, explaining the issue, and I'll try to get you guys working with this. So thanks a lot, guys, again, for watching. Please check out our other videos. Of course, me behind the computer showing you guys how to get stuff for free and get with his editing videos and... Uh, Please subscribe overall and just support our videos. Thanks a lot, guys. Tell your friends, and I'll uh, see you guys later.